Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a brief overview of the Intel Core i7-8700 processor. This is not the K edition. This is locked. Now mind you, you can overclock it a little bit, but you really don't need to in my opinion at least. It's plenty fast. Now this is going to be featured in my boss build. The video may not just be out just yet, and if it is, I'll link it in the description below. But anyway, come over here real quick and I'll talk you through it as I'm doing the unboxing. Alright guys, here we go again. The Intel Core i7-8700 processor. Along the front of the box we can see 8th gen Intel Core i7 desktop processor. Core i7 right along here. For a great VR experience. And then i7-8700 and then LGA-1151, the socket. Along the side, just gives you some of the specifications of the processor, 6-core, hyper-threading, 12-way uh, multitasking, Turbo Boost 2.0 technology, Smart Cache technology, op supports Optane, 2-channel DDR4, Intel UHD Graphics 630, see that all right here, and then contents of the box. This is the only one. <laughs> no, these are just different languages. And then right over here, UPC, serial number, and all that good stuff. All right, so let's just go ahead, open it up real quick. Oh, and the top shows the processor. That is the processor. <clears throat> all right. All right, so then, Right here we have the Intel Core i7 processor, the installation instructions. These are going to be very basic, um, although installing a CPU is relatively simple. And again, if you don't know how to, I'm going to show you guys in a quick build video later on. Along the back, we have the Intel Core i7 8th Gen case badge and the Intel logo, of course. Okay, and it does come with a three-year limited warranty. Okay, and so we'll take this out. This is the processor itself. So just make sure you don't put your hands on these gold contacts down here. That will ruin potential connectivity between the motherboard CPU pins and the back of the CPU. Okay, that's the back. Looks like a little tiny city, doesn't it? Pretty cool. Then along the front, see that right there? Intel Core i7, and then SR3QS 3.2 gigahertz, L815E405. See that right there? All right, let me go ahead and put this back. Now, what I always do, and you know, you can always do different, but when I build a machine, I always keep this, well, actually I keep all the boxes, but I keep this in case I want to update the processor or, you know, do whatever. I can put it back in here. That way nothing comes in contact with the back. And not that many people use this, but this is, if anything, a good starter in case you're dying to build your machine and you don't have a third-party CPU heatsink. Intel includes a very low-profile CPU heatsink with some pre-applied thermal paste. These guys clip into the holes on the motherboard itself and click, and it's in there. So then if you want to take them out, just turn this to the side, all four of them, and pull it out. But again, I don't ever recommend using this heatsink. It's great that they include it. Again, this should only be used if you, let's say, you know, you ordered uh, a CPU heatsink and everything for your build is ready, but you're missing that third party CPU heatsink. You can use this in the meantime to get everything installed and all that good stuff. So, my recommendation again, you can do whatever you want. All right. So I'm just gonna toss this down here, put everything back in the box, but that's about it. Um, 
So the Intel Core i7, again, is a socket, a Core i7-8700 is a socket 1151 processor. Uh, this particular processor and the series is built off of the 14 nanometer lithography technology, uh, six quarters, 12 threads on this processor has a base frequency of 3.2 gigahertz and a max turbo frequency of 4.6 gigahertz or 4.60, uh, 12 megs of smart cache, eight gigatechs of bus speed, 65 watt TDP. So relatively cool. Uh, supports up to 64 gig of DDR4, 2,666 megahertz RAM. Anything over, of course, is overclocked RAM. It supports two memory channels at 41.6 gigabytes per second. Now, if you don't have a video card, you can always use the onboard video, which is the Intel UHD Graphics 630 with a base frequency of 350 megahertz, max dynamic frequency of 1.2. 20 gigahertz or 1.2 gigahertz supports 4k video at 60 hertz uh, max resolution on hdmi 1.4 at 24 hertz and of course 4096 by 2304 and then on dp at 60 hertz all at 4096 by 2304 the onboard video supports directx 12 opengl 4.5 intel quick sick video uh, the processor supports Optane, Turbo Boost 2.0, VPro, hyperthreading, virtualization, and a ton more. I'm going to go ahead and leave a lot of this information in the description below, as well as a link to the Amazon store in case you want to check it out. But as always, you know, please click like, definitely click subscribe, and uh, I will bring you more. And again, you will see this in the boss build coming soon. Iggy out. See you guys.